Hey guys, so you might be wondering about troop formations. What they are, how to do them, all that jazz. Okay? Main rule of thumb here, alright? Biggest no no in the world of all no no's. Do not ever do that. Do not equalize. Do not ever equalize. I I wanna I I just I I, I hate and I mean hate when people do that. Because you do not want lower tier troops Whenever you're joining, whenever you're attacking, whenever you're defending, it just generally never, ever, should ever, 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 ever happen, okay? You do not want your low tier troops, okay? Bad idea. Next problem. How many should you have? Typically, almost everybody who has no clue as to what they're doing should probably do an even blend. But when you are defending, okay, all you're going to do is drag this down to t about 20%. And you're just going to bring this up to 40, and you bring this up to 40, and do a 40, 40, 20. Okay? And whenever you're going to be attacking, then you bring this back down to 20, and you bring this up to 40. Now, you might be wondering why. And this varies. But typically, this works for me. And I've done this for quite some time, and I've never had a whole lot of trouble with it. The mindset of this is is that typically what will end up happening when you're attacking is you're going to run through infantry and marksmen faster. Okay, those two unit types will get hurt pretty darn bad. So, if you have a 40-20-40 blend, you're going to increase the infantry, live a little longer. Marksmen are going to do a little damage, and they're going to live a little longer. And that's the mindset behind that. And that's, you know, honestly, that's what I've been doing for my formations. Whenever I'm attacking, you're going to see a blend like that. And if I'm defending, what I'll end up doing usually is I'll bring this marksman count down a little bit. And then I'll bring up my lancer count if I can afford it. Now, sometimes I'm not as liberal with my lancers. I may bring it down another 10% and go up 50. And do a 50, 30, 20. And that's if I think I'm really struggling and I'm going to be running low on infantry. I, I might do a 50, 30, 20 just for that alone. Okay, but by no means should you ever dip below 40% infantry. I generally don't like doing that. It very rarely ever really works out. I mean, when you're doing equal blends, it's okay, but even then, you'll tend to find that it tends to work out better if you have a better front line, and having more infantry ultimately will do you a lot more benefit in the long run. Um, now, as far as saving it goes, say like you're doing a lot of 40-20-40s, for example. Maybe that's your thing. Well, you can obviously check this box if you'd like to make it the default, right? And then, well, it'll be the default, and you can hit confirm. But let's say you've got a set of heroes now that you're like, you know, I'm going to use this every time. Well, you hit this little checkbox, pick the one you want, and hit confirm. And like that, it's saved. But let's say now for a moment... I don't want to do a 40-20-40. I'm going to defend. Well, take this down to 20. Hit done. Bring that up to 40. Hit confirm. And now, it'll change accordingly. And then you can go up here. Hit the little save button. Hit 2. Hit confirm. And now, if I swap between 1 and 2, you can see that it is going to properly change my composition for me. But it will always use the same heroes. Downside risk of that. And you could always take them out, for example, but then the you know the rest of it is going to be off, right? But your balance is always going to be right, and then you can just throw in your new heroes as you go along, which you prefer is up to you. But ultimately, that is kind of the one trick to troop formations, and that's kind of how troop formations work, more or less. Now, the nitty gritty of like joining rallies, defending, attacking, knowing what composition to use and how. It's still kind of a made-up science in a sense. I mean, you know, there's lots of ways not to do it. Like, I've seen a lot of people that'll, you know, they'll, what they'll do in the balance sheet is they'll go, you know, I don't need Lancers. I just need Marksmen. And they blast it. <laughs> you know, and you could do it 40, 60, right? You could just say, you know what, I don't need Lancers, right? But that just means you're not going to do any damage to their Marksmen. That seems silly when you're attacking. Now, in some instances, this might make sense. 
if you're doing events like bear right you might be going yeah i don't need that i need this i need this or i need this or maybe i just need all this you know maybe i just need infantry now only time where i've ever seen anybody go hmm i need this or this is whenever let's say you're defending a player you know here recently i've kind of absorbed the idea that i need to be sending 50 50. forget the lancers just send infantry and marksmen those are the only two unit types that'll get downed as long as they have 20% of their army as infantry, it, it doesn't look as though it'll ever dip into their lancers. And so by helping them improve their kills and increase their front line, this is ultimately going to help succeed in that. Alternatively, I could just send lancers, and that would probably help you know, against the marksmen that they have coming at their way, but again, the, the, the primary goal here doesn't change a lot. You know, and so ultimately, whenever you're looking at troop formations, you also want to pay very close attention to this little flag. Okay, the little flag, okay, as you might imagine, does not get to be picked particularly by hero. Okay, but that little flag incredibly important when you're defending. It's incredibly important when you're reinforcing somebody or joining rallies. So you want to pay very close attention to that little flag. Because that little flag is ultimately what's going to decide what the first the skill in the expedition now. is going to be. So it's incredibly important that you make sure you notate what hero has that flag. Because certain heroes have good Until little notes. Others not so much. Some of them have stuns. Some of them have, you know, attack up and defense. Some, some of them have stuns. <laughs> Some of them have an image, you know, and so on. I could go on and on. But the point is the same. Point being is pay very close attention to the very first skill when you're joining the rally. More importantly, if as the rally captain, recognize the fact that you will only need to worry about the first four people joining your rally, and then afterwards anybody can join with defensors, for example, for that little flag hero. And it actually eliminates the number of people you would need to swap out should you need to in the event that you're now winning the rally and now you need to defend it just eliminates a lot of hassle in between and again with those troop formations and those compositions in mind you should be relatively successful in your endeavors hopefully this taught you a thing or two and i'll see you guys in the next video